Welcome back to the channel, Taro Yogi. I'm Vineet. I read Taro intuitively, and today we're doing a Mercury retrograde reading. So we're doing what can you expect this Mercury retrograde, which is going to be from 9th September to 1st October. But if you're seeing it at some other point of time for Mercury retrograde, I'm sure there'll be certain messages for you. So it's technically a timeless reading. So we have three piles to choose from. Pile number one, we have the Mariel Tarot. Pile number two, we have the Nicoletta Ciccoli Tarot. Pile number three, we have the Murder of Crows Tarot. So take a minute, see what pile is being called to you intuitively. The description box below will have the timestamp for your pile. And again, remember it's a general reading, take what resonates, leave the rest. And if you like my style of reading, please like this video, share, subscribe, comment, it means a lot. And if you want, if you would like to reach out for a private reading, you can definitely do that. My email ID and my Instagram handle are given in the description box below. So you can definitely reach out for a private reading and I'll see you guys in your reading. Thank you. Hello, pile number one. If you chose the Mariel Tarot, this is going to be your Mercury retrograde reading. So we're asking angels, ancestors, spirit guides, ascended masters, our family today. How will pile number one's Mercury retrograde be? We're doing a reading for the Mercury retrograde that we have in September. I think September 9th, 9th to October 1st. But if you're seeing it later, maybe there'll be some messages for you. How will pile number one's Mercury retrograde be? What can pile number one expect for this Mercury retrograde? What can pile number one expect for this Mercury retrograde? Clear concise messages, spirit. Please help me tap into what can pile number one expect this Mercury retrograde. Okay, pile number one. So we have 10 of wands, 10 of swords, eight of discs, three of wands, two of cups, magician, the hangman, empress, and seven of cups. So I'm seeing that pile number one, you're definitely ending some huge cycles. You know, I think you've been struggling with certain things for a while now, but they're very much coming to an end. And what I'm picking up here is you're definitely a giver, pile number one, and you have been taking a lot of things that truly really don't belong to you. You know, you've been taking on pains and problems of other people you know so I'm, I'm picking up very high empathic energy so my advice to you would be really segregate your own feelings from other people's feelings you know you, you really need to you really need to focus on simplifying your life this mercury retrograde because you already have taken too much you know and you're definitely going through some very very big endings and what you can expect in this mercury retrograde is is really residually completing a lot of those things that are still sort of, you know, skeletons in your closet. You know, you, you're basically completely deep cleaning your own inner subconscious. So I think this would be a good time to confront your shadow. You know, we have a shadow work reading on the channel. So you may want to check that out in the pick a card playlist. But you definitely need to address your shadow because what I'm also seeing here is some sort of spiritual awakening and an ego death. And it's not always easy, but I definitely think you have the aptitude for it. So don't, don't shy away from killing your own ego, you know, because I, I, I feel if you don't do this, you will have things sort of externally go, go in that direction for you. So you very much have a choice and you would rather give yourself a tower than the universe giving you tower here. I'm just being very real by number one. 
but despite these very very major karmic endings for you you know take your time in in finishing these cycles off don't try to bypass any of this because all this is going to be invaluable experiences for you in the future but despite you go, despite you having these heavy burdens and going through some major endings and also a possible ego death this mercury retrograde my advice for you would be to truly work hard and at the same time simplify your life you know so i think a lot of you all are focusing on just making your life more complex but that is not the way to go especially during retrograde you know my best advice for you would be to truly simplify your life because you're sort of going through a rebirth in this very life you know you're going through a deep transformation and it is very essential for you to be gentle with yourself during this time and truly let go of things that no longer serve you you know think about your future think about 5 years from now you know what do you want your life to be like how do you want your life to be right so only keep those things that you wish to do in in the future you know and at the same time let go of certain bad habits so you can invite new habits you also very much guided here at this time you know so when in doubt just ask for guidance from your spirit guides they will they're definitely all around you and you're very much supported and protected during this transitional phase of changing but i think what is going to really pay 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 off for you here is to keep doing hard work you know keep doing your due diligence do daily practice of whatever you're doing whatever you're trying to achieve it needs your daily attention and it is only through prolonged daily work will you reach mastery that you're looking for so don't shy away from putting in the hard work you know i i feel a lot of y'all haven't had i feel a lot of y'all are, are very alone or you feel very alone right now and you feel a lack of energy but the more you will sort of simplify yourself and sort of bringing yourself into alignment i feel things will line up for you and you will find the creative burst that you are looking for you know i feel a lot of y'all are very creative by nature but you are feeling burnt out you are feeling you'll have creative blocks but all that is is just a sign for you to go inwards and look inwards you're going to find the answers you need inside so my advice for you would be that yes you will find the energy when you need it but you will have to ask for it you know there is a higher force carrying you forward so even if you feel you don't have it in you you definitely have it in you you know so keep keep pushing keep being resilient and we have two of cups so the way i'm reading this two of cups is this is sort of you coming into union with yourself i'm not particularly seeing new love and needless to say if it's retrograde please don't let an ex back in you know it is your choice to make at the end of the day but my personal advice to you would be to not take back anyone who has left your life especially during retrograde you know the, those people definitely need to be on the other side of it so keep 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 your energy clean don't let people come off and leech off you you know i i'm picking up some weird narcissists in your life who who will try to leech off you so don't let them even come in and the, and the best the best thing to do is to start with a narcissist don't give them any importance you know don't don't acknowledge them don't reply to their messages or calls during retrograde no matter what what kind of trouble they are in you know they're probably dealing with their own karma so we also have the magician with the, with the eight of discs you know so what i'm picking up here is you're a very powerful manifestors and this is a time for you to sort of step back and really see what do you truly want for yourself and try to manifest that into your life here you know because you are a a very powerful manifestor and i feel a lot of you all are just waiting to come into some kind of abundance and you're putting in the work and you're not seeing results but a lot of it has to do with you letting go and simplifying your life so you will make space for the new things to come into you there are definitely things that want to come to you here but you have to manifest you know so my advice to you would be every new moon write write down 10 things that you're grateful for and 10 things you want to manifest and just start seeing the subtle changes in your life and you will genuinely start feeling grateful for what you already have you know and we have the empress and the hanged man with the 7 of cups so i feel this is a very important time for you to truly surrender i feel for for a lot of you all in pile number 1 you need to do some sort of physical activity i would recommend yoga meditation but i know it doesn't work for everyone so if it works for you please do that or you know if you're a dancer singer 
paint or whatever you do start doing it daily and and just start doing it not not with the intention of mastering it but but sort of coming back to a place where where you're truly enjoying what you're doing and you're not so attached to the outcome you know you really need to practice some detachment over here and truly surrender because what 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 this retrograde is also bringing for you is a fresh point of view you know is a fresh perspective and it is sort of asking you to look at what has already happened in your life from a new light you know to to look at things from a new point of view and truly and truly stick to your faith and believe in it because and i'm not talking about blind dogmatic faith i'm talking about faith that you have earned you know through your own struggles so use use your faith as a guiding light in these ta- in, in these times of darkness for you you know use it as a rope to sort of pull you out of the abyss because this is also a very important time for you to sort of address your own inner abyss you know because you definitely have the ability to sort of go deep into your abyss and bring out pearls that you truly need over here so really embrace your own darkness do some shadow work and try to integrate your darkness into your daily life you know and and i think the most important thing this retrograde for you would be to to really come into your receptive feminine energy it doesn't matter if you're a male or a female you know you need to know that doing less is more during this retrograde for you so you definitely need to do less and just know that things will come to you you know you're sort of magnetizing yourself to bring things to you and you're not chasing things anymore so if you are in a state of lack if you are in a place where you're doing things out of desperation please stop and just focus on your own gratitude and truly believing and having faith that things will come to you and you're not running out of time you know you're exactly where you need to be right now even though that is not something you want to hear you know your circumstances are exactly conducive for your spiritual growth right now by number 1 and a lot of you are maybe connected to the moon cycles so please work with the moon cycles or this is this is a sign for you to start working with the moon cycles if you haven't you know it's going to bring it's going to be easier to bring in your manifestations but just truly really embrace this rebirth that you're going through it's going to be very very valuable in the future over here you pull some advice what advice do we have for pile number 1 Okay so we have ace of discs 9 of cups 7 of discs 5 of wands queen of cups 3 of discs and 4 of discs So first things first you really need to feel embodied in your body you know i think grounding is going to be very very crucial and an important phase this retrograde for you you know you really need to embrace being embodied in in whatever way that means for you you know i'm not saying you have to do yoga but whatever even playing football can help you feel very grounded so don't escape don't try to escape your body don't try to go to higher dimensions you know really take this time to really embrace the whole spectrum that is your own body you know feel every ache and pain so you can be free of it because your your your, your spiritual growth is very linked to sort of navigating the physical labyrinth the body you know the, the key is in the body for you specifically pile number 1 and i feel you will be triggered at times where you will start feeling alone and you will feel not good enough but use those triggers to truly isolate yourself and know that you are enough within yourself you know you, this retrograde is going to be about feeling personal fulfillment for you so really embrace really embrace your own personal fulfillment and don't try to seek validation from outside it's going to be very very important to not seek validation from outside and just know that you are enough you know you, you you're carrying the oasis that you need for your own personal healing and 
we have seven of discs and three of discs. So this is the time for you to invest in what do you truly want five years from now. And you may feel very alone during this time, but I truly want you to know that you are not alone. You very much have your spirit guides and your angels with you, protecting you, guiding you through this dark night of the soul for a lot of y'all. You know, I feel there are a lot of conflicts in your life right now. And all of that, you, you, you may feel like escaping, but all of it is just sort of, it, all of it is just being a catalyst for you to look inwards. You know, you are meant to be a trailblazer in this life. And, and we have Queen of Cups and I was, I was just speaking about the pearl metaphor and the abyss. You know, so don't be afraid to go into your own deep ends because what you will find there is going to be very crucial, not just for you, but for a lot of other people also. You know, there is definitely hope. There's definitely a sense of renewal, even though you feel very, very heavy right now. And what universe is really saying here is to, is to co-create. You really need to just allow yourself to co-create, do your due diligence, invest, and just know that everything else will be taken care of. And again, I'm not, I'm not saying you need to have blind faith, but this, this faith is going to be something you have earned. So this is a beautiful time for you to co-create with spirit because spirit wants to give you things. So really embrace it because you will be fulfilled, even though you may not feel like it right now. I feel a lot of people are doing things that have never been done, you know, and you will overcome, you will come overcome these adversities that you're facing right now. All these challenges are going to be important lessons of the future for you. And I feel a lot of people may feel that it will take something out of you. It will only take those things out of you that no longer are you. You know, so really just be honest with yourself, this retrograde, it's going to, and if you manage to do this, it's really going to bring in some huge changes for you. Pull some oracle. Any final advice? We have Blue Heron, the Gorilla and the Cardinal. So. Birds may be very synchronistic to you. Pay attention to birds' feathers. It reads, make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others. So I'm picking up a lot of spiritual energy here. I feel a lot of you are empaths. And as an empath, firstly, you need to, it, it becomes your own personal responsibility to, to separate your own emotions from emotions of other people. So you need to constantly ask yourself, what am I feeling and are these feelings mine? You know, that is going to be very, very essential for you. And the kind of spiritual changes you're going through, you, you expect people to validate you. Don't expect that because you're meant to ascend alone. You know, ascension never happens in a group. Ascension always is a very personal, ascension is a very personal, private thing. And you may have to stand up for yourself. So I feel a lot of y'all are givers and it is easier for you to love other people than it is to love yourself. So this is the time for you to be a little selfish and put yourself first and not take on to people's projections and don't let anyone drain you. So boundaries are going to be very, very important and truly just standing up for yourself because you have inherent value. Take time to listen compassionately to those who love you, especially your family members. You know, so by that card, what I'm getting here is a lot of y'all have some father wounds and mother wounds and some very deep childhood wounds that you're still reacting out of and really take this time to decompress those things and bring it up to surface in a healthy way where, where you can deal with it because I feel you are charging forward, you know, you may feel a, a little sense of setback, but it is not a setback. It is this retrograde is, will really help you deep clean. So don't don't be frightened by deep cleaning your own own world in a world you know like for example a body will just throw up right it doesn't care where it is you know if, if the body has to vomit something out it will vomit out so why why put a lid on your brain it doesn't make sense right so just purge focus on purging cardinal the polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance so do whatever it takes to bring them back into equilibrium. So like I was saying, you know, being grounded and being embodied is going to be the most essential fundamental practice for you, this Mercury retrograde. You know, if, if you don't ground yourself, it will become very difficult for you to, if you don't ground yourself, it will be very difficult for you to navigate the abyss and the labyrinth, that is you. 
because all the answers you are seeking for are within you know so if you're not finding the answers that you need you just need to look deeper and you need to look only within you will you will just not find any anything outside especially validation of any sort you know and the more you start following your journey here it will it will validate you within itself and you and you will get more energy to pursue the things that you truly want to pursue you know and the answers will also come but don't don't be frightened to stand up for yourself and demand your own value over here you know because this is also a test for you in self worth the universe really wants to see how much have you learned yeah so that's all i have for pile number 1 again it's a general reading take what resonates leave the rest and if you like my style of reading please like this video share subscribe comment and i'm taking private readings at this time so my email id and my instagram handle are given in the description box below so you can definitely reach out for a private reading and i wish you all the best pile number 1 and i'll see you guys in the next reading thank you Hello pile number 2 if you chose the Nicoletta Chocoli tarot this is going to be your mercury retrograde reading for September 9th to October 1 but you may if you see it some other time there may be some messages for you here so we are asking angels and ancestors for guys ascended masters our family today what can pile number 2 expect this mercury retrograde how will the mercury retrograde go Angels and ancestors, for guys and sending us to our family. Please help me tap into how will pile number two Mercury retrograde be? What do they need to know here? What does my pile two need to know here? Clear, concise messages, sir. Thank you. What can pile number two expect? this mercury retrograde Okay, pile number two. So we have three of swords, nine of wands, page of pentacles, king of wands, seven of wands, the high priestess, eight of wands, the devil, and six of wands. So what I'm getting here is pile number two. It's been a very intense year for you. You know, you've definitely gone through some sort of heartbreak, and that heartbreak. is exactly what has helped you catalyst is, is sort of catalyzing you into being the best version of yourself but the retro in the retrograde phase you will probably feel that you're pinned down by your heartbreak and you know at at a very conscious level you want to move on but subconsciously your shadow is screaming at you because you haven't completely healed you know you definitely want to move on but you need to focus on healing and i feel a lot of you all need to purge your emotions you know like for example our human body it will throw up when it needs to throw up it does not care it doesn't have a conscience where it is you know it's going to throw up in the club it's going to throw up in the daytime at the at the station wherever you know it doesn't have it doesn't have a repressing conscience and you need to similarly purge your emotions without having any conscience i feel a lot of you all are very intellectual you know so you intellectualize your emotions but you need to feel your emotions that's the only way to really be free of it and i feel uh, uh, because of the certain heartbreak that you have gone through you know i'm picking up you've either been betrayed by a lover by a friend whoever even parents over here so who and it's a general reading so it's going to be very different for everyone but just know that there will be a time when the right people will come in that you will be able to trust again but you need to open yourself up a little more you know you're sort of guarding yourself and you're guarding your own heart in a way that is not exactly healthy for you because it is stopping you from growing even though you want to focus on growing and moving on i i hope that makes sense so you do have a new start coming to you you know you you do have a new beginning and you're very much going through a process of transformation so really really 
surrender to it. You really need to surrender to the process of transformation. I feel a lot of you are maybe seeing butterflies. So, you know, that is that is a very important sign and symbol for you. So pay attention to that, you know. And when you see a lot of butterflies, just know that the uh, you, you finally the outer world is start, starting to reflect the inner. And, you know, it is sort of, it is sort of only only witness for you to know that, yes, you are changing on the inside and you can sort of see those changes on the outside. And this will only happen if you're very tapped in. You know, you will know, you will know exactly what that butterfly means for you. I feel a lot of you are maybe seeing white butterflies, yellow butterflies, orange butterflies, even bl blue and black butterflies, you know, so just know that you're going through a very important transition phase and don't try to bypass it. Don't try to bypass and intellectualize your feelings. You have the only way to purge your feelings is through the heart chakra. And I feel a lot of your heart chakras are being cracked open and it's not a, an easy process. You know, my heart really goes out to you, but I just want you to know that you are held during this process and nothing can hurt you anymore. The worst is over. And what, what all of this is meaning is you're sort of being pushed into a leadership role. So if you aren't already in a place where you're guiding and advising a lot of people, just know that you will be and that is the end goal. Spoiler alert. You're meant to guide other people. So just don't try to bypass your own inner conflict and pain. It's going to be very important as a lesson, as a stepping stone for you and for other people. You know, you're going to realize that what you have gone through, yes, it's, it's a personal struggle, but it is a lot more than just you. And and I feel this is a realization that will come to you very naturally. But I think the goal for you, this retrograde, is to start seeing yourself as a leader, to start seeing yourself as a pioneer, as a creative. You know, you have the power and you need to call all the power back to yourself. I feel a lot of y'all have given your power away. And I feel a lot of y'all are just punishing yourself. I feel a lot of y'all are punishing yourself and you just need to know that you did the best you could at that given moment with the given information you have. You didn't know then what you know now. And you're sort of holding yourself accountable for a lot of things that you didn't break, you know, so it is not up to you to fix anyway. And obviously without, I don't even have to say it's retrograde. So don't let anyone back in, especially people who have betrayed you, backstabbed you, they haven't changed a bit. They don't have the right intentions. They only want to block you, you know, so boundaries are very important for you during this time. But stop punishing yourself, you know, stop, stop punishing yourself. And I feel a lot of y'all are very intuitive. I feel a lot of y'all are tarot readers on YouTube. So if you have a tarot channel, please leave it in the link. Please leave it in the description box below. I, I in the comments. Sorry, I mean, you know, so I love watching tarot as much as I like reading tarot and Especially if you're a tarot reader or a psychic of some kind, you need to speak your truth, you know, because all of a sudden my words were jumbled. So I feel your thought, your throat chakra and your thoughts are very blocked. And your thoughts are basically blocking your throat chakra because you're not expressing your truth. You really need to start speaking your truth. And I feel a lot of you are like getting dreams, visions, clairvoyance, clairaudience, and use it. It is guiding you to where you need to be. You know, those subtle impressions are very, very important. I would say even note them down, you know, for your own future references to sort of build your own spiritual practice here. Because even if you're not a tarot reader or something, you're very, very spiritual and you're very, very... You're very, very guided also, you know? So it, it's, it's truly a matter of trusting and believing and following things that you know to be true. And just know that not everyone will get you you know, so you sort of have to walk this path alone, but you ha you're sort of like the camel here. You know, you have everything within you that it takes to cross the desert. So you truly don't need external validation. You don't need external guidance. All the guidance you need, you need to look inwards. And, and that is going to be very important for you in this journey. I feel a lot of y'all have certain addictions that y'all that are in the process of letting go. So take your time with it and just know that these things that you think are holding you hostage don't actually have any power and you can choose, you can make a choice to free yourself from this situation. So I think it's really about embracing your own inner change. And once you start changing yourself on the inside, it will start reflecting on the outside. 
and I feel a lot of you all may feel a lot of things are coming at you at once. Just know that your environment is exactly conducive for your spiritual growth. You are exactly where you need to be. For a lot of you all, I'm getting you all may travel. So just know traveling is happening. I feel a lot of you all are moving. And I feel a lot of you all will feel stuck. You, you may feel the time is not going fast. You're not healing very fast. But you need to know healing is truly not linear. And even though you feel things are not happening fast, they're happening really, really fast for you. So if things are not happening, don't try to do more. You need to focus on doing less this retrograde because there will be a time for action and it is not right now. So really take this time to reflect and let go of things that truly no longer serve you. And and you and you and you have an assured victory over here. You will definitely conquer everything that you sort sort of thought you couldn't. You know, and you're very very strong and you're very very resilient. And I get it. It's it's not easy. But just know that you everything you sort of desire is within you, and and the greatness that you're sort of aiming to achieve it will only come from within you. It's not going to come from the outside. You know, so don't. Don't even expect that. And whatever you answer, I feel a lot of you all are looking for guidance teachers. Yes, it's good to get get some guidance, but at the end of the day, you need to develop your own own path. And the the path you will develop is going to be specifically for you. That's why you don't have a teacher. And just know that you will be victorious. So once once you sort of accept that. it becomes easier to walk your path because you know you will reach where you need to reach even though you may not reach there in a way you thought you would reach you know so really take this time to reflect and to let go of certain heartaches certain past pains that you're very much storing in your body this is a time for you to purge and not everyone is out here to get you that is i know someone needs to hear this you know you you feel you're not free enough to move but you are free the only thing holding you back is you right now any additional advice for pile number 2 here what does pile number 2 need to be mindful of what does pile number 2 need to know here One more card, spirit. We have very similar cards to pile number one. You may be attracted. So we have the Empress, Ten of Wands, the World, Page of Cups, Ace of Discs, Page of Wands, and Five of Wands, and. just know that you will get the justice that you deserve you know anything that has been taken away from you it will come back to you and like i was saying earlier you know less is more for you right now and i feel a lot of you all have attached your own sense of self worth and your personal identity to what you achieve and what you don't achieve and this is going to be a very a very important and a pivotal lesson for you to not do that you inherently have value even if you don't earn a dollar ever again you know you still are very valuable and i feel if all the circumstances in your life are sort of meant to trigger you into truly coming into your own self worth and re- and really learning to stand up for yourself even when you don't really have anyone's back and i feel a lot of you all are givers you know so you take on a lot of things that don't belong to you so again boundaries is very important don't take on other people's problems you know don't take on other people's hassles because you cannot help them you know people have to go through their own growth and you are in a place where you're ending some huge karmic cycles so just allow yourself to end that don't try to force it like i said don't bypass anything over here every little thing is going to be very important for your future because these are important lessons for you and we have the page of we have the page of cups so i feel a lot of y'all are very intuitive very psychic very creative and this is a this is a time for you to sort of simplify your life and come back to that source within you you know that beautiful place place of creativity and if you're going through certain blockages and if i feel a lot of you all feel burnt out just know that 
simplifying simplifying your life will really help you and you do have new opportunities coming to you and you're also very very guided you're very very guided you're very very protected you know so just know that you will be where you need to be and this is really going to be also a test for you in your own personal faith and whenever i talk about faith it's it's not blind faith it is faith that you have earned from your own personal experiences here so don't try to don't try to bypass anything and just know that you are being guided so you will know when is the time to act don't try to keep doing things and don't try to force anything here because you you will have opportunities coming in so yes there will be time for you to act and all the conflicts in your life right now are exactly what you need to grow so don't try to escape don't try to escape anything you know just embrace the good and the bad it's going to be very very helpful in the future you you'll be very grateful that you didn't push things away and we have page of wands so you will be in a place where you will finally get the passion back the creativity back you know your own inner child back in in a very happy healthy zone and this is going to be very helpful for you to charge forward so i feel a lot of you all are burnt out i feel a lot of you all don't feel you have it within you to go on but just know that there is a higher force over here and you're meant to do great things so really allow yourself to step into your feminine feminine power doesn't matter if you're a male or a female you know just allow yourself to attract things to you magnetize yourself don't don't chase any more everything that is meant for you will come to you and you and at the right time so you're never running out of time either and i i i feel someone needs to hear this pile number 2 so just please know that you're not running out of time and it takes a lot to end these huge cycles so be gentle with yourself but you will come in full bloom very very soon so rest la like right now we really just need to rest and introspect this card fell eight of wands so i think this just reinstates that you feel things are going very slow for you and you're not really growing and you're stagnating but that is not the case you're very much growing you're very much going through some internal changes and let me tell you internal changes are not it is not easy internal changes are not easy at all you know so embrace it embrace all of it the good bad the ugly because you definitely have new opportunities coming in any additional messages here spirit any additional messages for pile number 2 any additional messages okay so we have platypus gorilla and heron so platypus reads stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life so i guess a little tough love pile number 2 is what you need right now and i think you just need to really reparent yourself and take accountability for everything that has been and it is much better to finally take accountability for yourself and it really helps you know so the good and the bad you know and i don't feel you you are not i don't feel you are very irresponsible you know i just feel circumstances haven't allowed you to take charge of your life but now is the time for you to take charge of your life and you can start by just being grateful for everything you have right now even the bad things even though you don't see the silver lining right now just know that you will see it when the time is right when your lessons are learned and take time to listen to compassionately to those who love do, those who love you especially your family members so i feel a lot of your own childhood traumas will come up your father wounds mother wounds will come up i feel a lot of you all probably had a single parent or something along those lines so you lost a parent just know that they're very much with you they're very much guiding you and protecting you and you wouldn't you wouldn't go through these things if you were not strong enough to go through these things so that itself should sort of positively gaslight you to keep going on even when you feel you cannot and we have make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others 
so that, that again sort of reinstates that you have to sort of follow your own personal individual path and you may ruffle some feathers and it is probably for the best but you just need to know that you are not responsible for healing anyone else and you can only heal yourself you can help someone that only wants to be helped you know and if you are a giver just know that not be a little more discerning about who you are giving to because not everyone is worthy so use your discernment and just know that the right people will come in but right now we really need to just learn to stand up for yourself i feel it is much easier for you to stand up for others than it is to stand up for yourself and i feel that itself is a very blind spot that you need to heal there is a lot there you know we have shadow work reading on the channel in in the pick a card playlist so please go check that out it may really help you and i'll i'll do a new one very soon but right now is really a time for you to be alone and embrace everything within you because all of all of it you know even the bad parts are very important for your transformation right now even though you don't see it right now but you are exactly where you need to be yeah so that's all i have for pile number 2 again it's a general reading take what resonates leave the rest and if you like my style of reading please like this video share subscribe comment and taking private readings at this time so if you want to reach out for a private reading you can definitely do that my email id and my instagram handle are given in the description box below so you can definitely reach out and i wish you all the best this retrograde and i'll see you guys in your next reading thank you hello pi number 3 if you chose murder of crows tarot this is going to be a mercury retrograde reading for september 9 to October 1 but if you're seeing it later I'm sure there's some messages for you in here so we're asking angels and sisters spirit guides and sending my soul star family what to what can pile number 3 expect this mercury retrograde what can pile number 3 expect this mercury retrograde here can say message spirit thank you what can pile number 3 expect this retrograde cut the deck once Okay, pile number three. We have six of swords, five of pentacles, the devil, two of cups, seven of cups, the world card, ten of cups, two of wands, queen of pentacles. So, what I'm getting right here, pile number three, is it's not been a very easy year for you. I feel you've gone through a lot of changes, a lot of transitions, and even. what is happening to you in your life right now during this mercury retrograde period is going to be a very important transition and a rite of passage happening for you in your life right now i feel you're sort of being called here to let go of a lot of things that you were holding on to that that and these are things people that are truly no longer serving you so i feel a lot of people have been sort of cut out of your life and there are still some people who need to leave your life you know because you you have outgrown people here so to speak and th- you feel abandoned you feel you have been left out in the cold you feel you're battling certain addictions alone but just know that you will heal from all of this and if you truly choose you can let go of the chains here because what you don't see is you're definitely moving into karma waters and things haven't been very calm for you i feel a lot of y'all will be traveling abroad i feel a lot of y'all will be shifting homes but there is a lot of traveling here also so y'all are literally also moving to like a new new place new country new city 
and again it's a general reading so it may not be true for everyone but i am picking that up here for some people you're definitely going to be traveling by water traveling by air and let me tell you try not to try to sort of address your issues before this big shift happens because you will unknowingly take these unhealed parts of yourself to this new chapter of your life and trust me you don't want to do that you really don't want to take these unhealed parts of yourself to the new chapter in your life so like i said you know i feel a lot of y'all are going through certain addictions i just want you to know that things will be okay things will be okay for you if you truly let go give yourself the time to heal from your addictions here and for my singles i'm seeing love i am seeing new love for you but i feel this love you will meet at the other end of the shore so i feel for a lot of you that are traveling you may meet someone new in the new place that you're moving in and that may be very nice but there are a lot of illusions that you are holding on to about the past because you're definitely ending some huge karmic cycles here you've you're ending some heavy ancestral baggage and karma and trauma so just allow yourself to let go and i feel you're sort of deluding yourself right now you know the the worst is over i really want you to know that the worst is over but you just need to allow yourself to let go i feel i feel you you're sort of being haunted by the phantom of the past and i just want you to know that you did the best possible thing that you could at that given time and you couldn't have done anything more and you couldn't have saved or salvaged the situation and you cannot fix something that you didn't break here by number 3 but what you don't see also this retrograde is you are moving to towards complete emotional fulfillment for a lot of you all that have been really seeking that i feel a lot of you all just want inner peace and happiness and it will come to you but it will only come to you once you make space and let go of things that are no longer serving you and i i am picking up a lot of addictions over here i feel a lot of y'all are addicted to certain substances alcohol and even sex so just know that you are enough to contain yourself without the need to numb i feel a lot of y'all are just numbing yourself here i feel a lot of y'all are also looking for stability looking for new jobs know that yes it will happen i feel a lot of y'all are meant to be your own bosses i feel a lot of you are meant to be entrepreneurs of some kind have a business of your own i don't feel you're meant to work under someone for a very long time and yes it will be a very sustainable thing when you start working for yourself it it will definitely be something for the long haul but it will definitely pay off but you need to plan and you need to manifest you definitely need to plan and keep planning planning be as descriptive in your planning as you can be because it will be very helpful because you're sort of attracting yourself those things to you at this point in your life you know so have have plans in place see where you want to be in the next 5 years and start working towards it and just just start having a sense of achievement so just do something for 5 minutes every day and that will bring you the sense of accomplishment which will further propel you into doing what you truly need to do here by number 3 but i really want you to know that the worst is over and you will have stability and finances and abundance that you are very much craving right now it will come you're not going to feel abandoned anymore the worst is over the worst is really really over over here by number 3 and you will be fulfilled in every possible way and there is new love coming in for my singles any additional advice here two cards fell we take them i guess it's a little significant we'll get into it wow okay
Okay, so we have King of Wands. We have Four of Swords, Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands, Three of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, The Lovers, and the Page of Cups. So you're definitely going to have a new beginning. You're definitely going to have a new start and you will be renewed. I feel a lot of y'all need to rest. I feel a lot of y'all have burnt yourself out. And we have the King and the Queen of Wands. So you may be either of the fire signs or you may have any of the prominent fire placements, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And if you are a fire sign, just know that the person you're going to be falling in love with will be meeting because you definitely have a new partner coming in who will be an equal to you may also be a fire sign or they may have prominent fire placements and for people who are already taken this is a time for you to come into union of your own divine masculine and your own divine feminine you know we have everyone has both parts of the duality within us and you're sort of being called here to balance those things within you you know i feel a lot of y'all are very creative but you burn yourself out I feel a lot of y'all start a new project and you're very sort of into it and then it fizzles out. But the lesson here is consistency and diligence. You know, we, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So the growth that you will be doing now, the growth that you're meant to have right now is going to be for a lifetime. So take all the time you need to, to make it grow. You know, you're going to have you're going to have slow, steady progress, but it is real progress. So don't try to burn yourself out. Don't try to run out of patience over here. It's going to be very, very important. You will be able to sustain a creative career. I feel a lot of y'all want to do something creative over here. I feel a lot of y'all want to make a lot of money by doing something creative. Yes, it will happen. You need to learn to ground your ideas much better. And you're very much going to be able to create a legacy out of your own talents over here. So you're very much being called here to embrace the full potential of your gifts now, pile number three. And also rest. I feel a lot of y'all are not sleeping, so please get enough rest and sleep and really rest your mind. Give up your swords. You don't need to fight all the time. And we have Ace of Wands and Three of Wands. So I feel a lot of y'all, like I said, feel very burnt out. You don't feel you have the creative spark, the passion. Those things will come. You will be, you will feel a new renewed sense of potential about things. You and you and things will get bearable for you again. I feel a lot of y'all just feel a lot of things around you are very unbearable right now. But what you're feeling right now is not going to last forever, you know. So you will have new passions coming in. You will have new creative ideas and I'm picking up very creative energy. I feel a lot of y'all are artists of some kind. You know, I feel a lot of y'all are writing music or dancing, or painting, you know, and I just really want you to give yourself a tap on the back because you've come a long way. And everything that you will plan will come to you, you know, your investments will come to you. But this is the time for you to put in the work, you know, really lay a very solid foundation that cannot be shaped by anyone or anything. And this is the time for you to be alone. Also really enjoy being embodied here. You know, really, really en enjoy being embodied. And I feel a lot of y'all will be alone for a while, but when you finally complete yourself and you finally don't need anyone, you will have a new love coming in. And it's going to be a very high level soulmate to inflame situation over here. You're very much guided to this person. You're very much guided to where you need to be. So don't give up now. Now is not the time for you to give up and let it take all the time it takes to get to where you need to be because you will get there. I promise you pile number three. You just have to keep at it. And I know it's not easy. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. But you have the stuff it takes to go all the way. So why not realize your complete potential? And I feel a lot of y'all are not afraid to go into places that most people are very fearful of. And, and that is what makes you stand out and unique. And that is the quality that you really need to tap into right now to make it through this time. But you're very, very powerful. You're very, very guided. I feel a lot of y'all will have new beginnings, you know. You will start feeling emotional again. You will start feeling safe to express how you feel. And you will just really start enjoying your body. I feel a lot of y'all are not enjoying your bodies. So I feel for a lot of y'all, y'all have certain physical illnesses. They will get better with time. You just need to believe and keep healing. 
keep focus just your, your focus should be you right now pile number three because everything that you will ask for will be given to you but don't burn yourself out that is not the way doing more will not get you more you need to know this but i feel a lot of y'all will also be going through a glow up so you know if you're working out doing any of that things you know if you're working out eating good just know yes you will start looking much better than you already are and i'm picking up a lot of body dysmorphia here too so know that that will also be okay very very soon just allow yourself to heal we we have a glow up reading on the channel so you may want to check that out it's in the pick a, pick a pile reading playlist so please check that out but you are definitely going through a glow up this retrograde and when you will be out of it you will definitely feel like a different person you will have more confidence i feel a lot of you all need to work with your solar plexus so please start working with your solar plexus here pulse miracle any additional advice here for my lovely pile number 3 what do my pile number 3 need to know over here can we get one more card for it just one more card call to take this so we have the manatee the cat and the panda so the manatee reads accept the situation as it is rather than fighting to change it so i feel the lessons you're going through right now are very important so don't try to bypass any of the steps in your healing journey because it's going to be very useful for you in the future and you will be able to help other people through this so don't so feel everything don't try to push things away and this is a great time for you to be honest with yourself and just be honest about everything the good and the bad because the more accountable you are and the more responsible you are the less your life will spiral out because you you will realize you have some agency and you have all the power i feel a lot of y'all have given power away to a lot of people but it is time to take it back by number 3 and we have the cat which says it is it's time to strike out on your own and relinquish your over dependency on others so i feel a lot of y'all are in certain codependencies because you feel you're not good enough let me tell you you're more than good enough you're very powerful and i feel you're sort of being triggered into using your gifts and your power you know and i feel people around you see see this about you you know they see how beautiful and unique you are and they sort of want to suppress you so you have everything it takes to get through this you know you're sort of the camel in the desert you have all the water and the oasis you need within you so stop looking for things outside stop looking for comfort in people this is not the time to find comfort in people this is the time to find comfort within yourself you truly don't need anyone i feel a lot of you need to isolate yourselves you know so at least take some time out of the day to be by yourself and just have a strong sense of self and agency again because i feel a lot of you have just let yourself go now is the time to sort of come back to yourself come come home to yourself because it is a lot stronger than you think you are and you know you know cats are very proud so start being like a cat you know start being very very proud you don't need people people need you pile number 3 and we have panda which says create a sacred space for yourself within home within your home or a place of work so this is very beautiful because the the uh, the way i read this message is you don't have to go to a temple you don't have to go to the church you don't have to go to a specific holy place i mean sure if you can go to a place like that nothing like it but you create a sacred space for you wherever you go you know wherever you're traveling you create that space for yourself and you can you can create that space as an altar outside or you can create that altar within and you can go to a safe space within yourself where you're truly untouched by the horrors of everyday life so to speak over here and yes we all have that place within us you just you just really have to turn your attention and your energy inwards and you will find all the answers you need the greatness and the perfection that you're hoping to achieve 
will come only out of you. So it is all already present, you know, within you. Just how a beautiful big tree is present in the seed. You know, so you have this beautiful tree waiting to be birthed from you. And it has always existed within you, you know. You're just sort of taking away and peeling away the things that are no longer you. You know, so just embrace embrace being a whole brand new person, you know. And I feel you may ruffle some feathers, you know, but it's no more people pleasing anymore. You know, the only thing, only person you're going to please now, pile number three, is yourself. Yeah, so that's all I have for pile number threes. Again, it's a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. And if you like my style of reading, please like this video, share, subscribe, comment. And I'm taking private readings at this time. So if you would like a private reading, my email ID and my Instagram handle are given in the description box below. So you can definitely reach out for a private reading. And I'll see you guys in the next reading. I wish you all the best. Take care. Thank you.